good morning uh, it's uh, March the 29th 2020 and this is Barbara from Arkansas and we're in the middle of uh, seeing cases of the what is it con Convarian virus 19 or something like that and uh, so we're sort of like on lockdown. I guess I mentioned that before. But uh, I'm living here. I've moved out of my RV. And now I'm at a government housing development run by the Catholic Diocese. And I've already told you this, but I thought I'd catch you. And, and the only one that moved with me, of course, was Connor. And he's out there sniffing every blade of grass right now. And I'm sitting on the porch sort of chilly this morning but not too chilly we had a nice rain yesterday and watching the news what the governor of Arkansas is doing to help us out and the federal government and uh, we've only got a uh, thank goodness of course if I was one of them that it was ill uh, anyway uh, we've had lot, five deaths and um, I think it was I think she said, I think he said 320 cases in the state of Arkansas and they're, you know, they're asking people to self-quarantine themselves if they're flying in and out from another state. And uh, so they even have an incentive thing that the nurses will get $1,000 a month uh, in the state of Arkansas, uh, you know, in regard to the pan, this, this this terrible virus that that's going around. Um, I don't know exactly if uh, you know. I see New York is just terrible and inundated with sick people and nurses. In fact, my friend Susie's son has been asked to go back in the Navy because you know he's a doctor, like a doctor's whatever physician thing, and they call it trying to get retired nurses and all working uh bringing their skills and to work with this pandemic uh i think the national guard and all here in arkansas are on ready to uh, put up uh, emergency tents you know for sick people i don't know what they're called they have these professional names but i don't know what they are so we're all trying to keep the distance <laughs> between us to keep from getting this. My daughter came by this morning and brought me a table for my bedroom and some groceries and took my laundry and took my trash down to the dumpster since I have no way of getting down there. My little cart <laughs> doesn't work as good as I thought it was going to so I'm planning on doing something else about that. I did go down to the doggy walk and saw lots of little bluebirds. Not blue jays, but bluebirds. And uh, my little mama squirrel, she's had her baby, so she's been really eating at the bird feeder this morning. And uh, I think Connor sitting underneath the bird feeder right now is keeping her at bay. It's old birds too, so I'm missing out on that. But anyway, this is about all I have to talk about today is pandemic or whatever they call it. And Arkansas seemed to be way ahead of the game and uh, setting for go, you know, when it does do what they think it's going to do. And I'm wondering what Bill Gates has to do with predicting peaks. I thought it was a computer guy. I don't know. Sometimes just FaceTime on. That's all they want. But anyway. I mean, if he was so smart, why don't he do something about it? <laughs> but anyway, our president and our governor here has doing the best they can for us. And uh, I feel that to be true. I really do. And I pray every day. Our governor's asked for everyone to pray to, today, all day, for our state and country and for each other and for our health care providers. And, and uh but anyway i just saw my first butterfly oh 
little yellow butterfly. He's just a flittering around all over. Too bad you can't see him. Oh, but this is the front of my house. I've got the door open. And if you look over here to the side, there's my little hens and chickens I painted many years ago. And I don't think you can see around there. But anyway, uh, that's all I have to say for today. I've had a breath, good breakfast with orange juice, and you can't beat that. My daughter brought me breakfast on Sunday morning, which is always good. But the sun is shining. I do hope it warms up, though. But I'm going to sit out here on the patio a little bit longer, and then uh, I'll go in and get busy doing something. I need to really do my Bible study, and I didn't do that early this morning, which is something I like to do first thing in the morning. I hope you have a blessed day. Remember, someone that has hands bigger than us. And he's there taking care of us in spite of everything. Okay, bye. Oh, Mr. Girl, if you want to subscribe or like or say something, you're welcome to. Otherwise, I'm just going to continue talking because that's what I do best. All right, bye-bye.